Let me show you my countryside through these old headlights. We can take this road as far as you want to go. Hello and good morning. Back to another day on Saving Uncle's Farm. Reviving and saving and all that jazz. So we have to feed our chicken. Uh, that's the first thing on the menu today. And then I'm going to go inside here and take care of those logs. Turn them into benches. Uh, so that way I can take the benches with me when I go to sell or refill our wending machines. And I believe there is a package waiting for me at the... Uh, uh, what's it called? At the, at the vehicle shop. At the dealer. Uh, which contains... Uh, some other things that we need for uh, making our vending machine area a little bit nicer and more welcoming and yeah just to make uh, people feel good there uh, so they spend as much time as they can okay I really have a bad death perception right here I think that's good. We still have some chicks. I think we... I sold all the males. Uh, which in hindsight... Uh, <laughs> it would be better to keep at least one. So we can actually fill our... Uh, chicken... Coop. And then sell all the males. But it's okay. So, okay, the chicken are good for now. So I'll take off this bucket that we have over there. It's a weight. Yeah, I can park in front of them. In front of the weight. Let's take care of those benches. Yeah, these two logs. Okay. And I'm gonna turn off the camera, so... Yeah, because it's safer that way. And I'll be back when I'm done. So that they, that took quite a lot of time, but here they are. So those two logs were cut up in halves. And what was left I used for the legs. And I had uh, some wood left over from uh, laying around the farm, which I used for the bench support. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. I think they turned out pretty well. And I really do love this detail. Uh, I, I made it with a chainsaw, uh, as you can see on the edges, just to make them a little bit nicer. So yeah, these are the two benches that are, that are going to our um, vending machine place. And right now, let me jump in and I will go uh, load all the garden products. We still don't have strawberries because it's too cold, but I think it's gonna be just fine. And our cute little calves. Yeah, I have cleared all the bales there behind that barn. And it looks like we have three pallets of tomatoes and two pallets of lettuce. Awesome. Let's make it easier to be loaded. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Yeah, so we also have quite a lot of manure. A big pile, and we also have a full slurry pit. Here are all the bales. I think it's 27 of them. And I just made a quick calculation how much we are probably gonna earn from this. And the number was was pretty high. 
I was thinking at first that maybe we would get a lot <clears throat> around 10 grand. But actually, if my math was correct, we could get around 30,000 for these silage bales. Which will definitely cover the cost of leasing all the equipment. So uh, we leased the... Oh, the winter or we bought uh, we leased the wrapper I can't remember how much I paid for that but yeah so it is looking up maybe I can then afford to pay out the loan I took for the vending machines or maybe pay out the tractor buy it out so we can have it as our own <laughs> Well, we do, but you know, you know what I mean. Be an actual owner. Yeah, it's definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna give us some options. So yeah, let me load this off screen, and we'll see you when I come to the vending machines. Uh, because we are going to set up all the benches and everything else I have ordered and is waiting for me right there at the vehicle shop. It's a fun thing this little mail business when you can order exactly where you want to have deliver your package delivered and it's really convenient. Of course I had to talk with the with the shop owners beforehand but yeah <laughs> Have you heard that moo? That was a young moo. Cool. Yeah, thanks guys. <clears throat> thanks for your help. Okay. And... Ta-da! Yeah, I know there's no flowers in here yet, but it's not the season, so they are gonna be here <laughs> when... <laughs> A little warmer weather comes, uh, but these one, these are plastic, so I hung them up, hung them up, and also one here just f just for the fun, and one inside there. And these are the two benches I made, and I have a trash bin over here. So yeah, can I move this? Yes, I actually can. Cool. Okay. So let me refill. The vending machine. It really is a shame that we can't uh, grow strawberries at the moment because they would be probably hot stuff. They would be sold out like hot buns or what's the saying? I think that's the saying, yeah. <laughs> uh, and tomatoes. We have spent quite a few hundred pounds, I think it was around 300-400 pounds for the decoration, for the plants, for the pots, for the trash bin. The trash bin was expensive, it was 200 pounds. So, yeah. But otherwise, I think everything is going great. I just wanted to make sure I was done before the snow starts falling, because it is forecasted very soon. Now let's take what we have left to the pub. They are probably eagerly expecting us because we used to be there first thing in the morning, but now, yeah, I had other plans and they just had to wait. But when the greenery starts growing, when we have some uh, flowers in that pot, I think that's going to be a pretty nice corner to spend your time in and enjoy your strawberry, especially in the summer. But thinking of I didn't provide any shade. Hmm. Maybe I can talk with the owners of the land to plant some trees. Not sure, but yeah, let me sell this and I'll be right back. Okay, so we get paid around 2000 pounds for the rest of our vegetables. Now let me return back to the farm and yeah, 
So, uh, in after the previous episode, I was talking with one of the neighboring farmers, and uh, I complained a bit be about the fuel consumption of the tractors. And yeah, he said that was pretty normal for machines like this, and for the use we actually put it through. Uh, but it would be wise, uh, he said, that uh, to have a one some kind of a fuel pump uh, back at our farm, so we don't have to drive all the way across the country to the fuel station and refill our tractors. Um, and apparently, you can have that at home. I was not aware because. In my country, you can't really have that. You need to have uh, some special permissions and, you know, it's a real hassle to get. But it turns out that you, here you can have that and, yeah. So, I vaguely remember seeing something... Oh, oh that was unexpected. Um, but I vaguely remember seeing something resembling a fuel station, homemade fuel station at the farm when we bought the what's it called, the animal transport trailer so I may pay uh, that man a visit again and ask him about it because if he has it at home he definitely has the best information uh, about how you can get it, so where you can get it and what permissions you need for that yeah. The trailer is back in its usual place. This is a really neat thing that you can have a drive through barn because uh, trailers with the dolly system, yeah, are uh, a treat to drive. <laughs> okay, so. Talking about treats, let me hook up the milk tanker. Yeah, I can see my tractor is a little bit dirty, so I think I'm gonna wash it before I go to the milk station to the dairy. We gotta be presentable, we can't run around with a dirty tractor. Okay, so let me quickly fill this up. That was a quick fill, but... Wow, we have a full tanker. Well, almost full. This is very unexpected. I was expecting it to be... I don't know, a quarter... of a tank, but yeah. If this is going to be like this... Uh, and that's gonna be a very decent thing. So yeah, the the guys from a lot of episodes before, when re they recommended me to have dairy cattle, well, they weren't lying. We just had that hiccup with uh, <laughs> not lactating cows, but uh, yeah, we bought actually pregnant cows. So we just had to wait for the calves to be born, but looks like the investment is really starting to pay off. Which is awesome. I think we started this day with 5,000 something on our bank account. We then used, I think, to 4,800. And now we sipped at 6,300. Oh man, sorry, sorry, I didn't see you. Please, go through. Yeah, excuse me, sir. This was really unintended. I have a huge blind spot because of this here. It covers so much of my vision field that... Yeah, it's not the first time I missed a, tr a vehicle coming from that side. It's getting... It's becoming dangerous. Oh, I forgot to wash the tractor. Oh. <laughs> Hello, good sir. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go in and unload. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> okay, so I forgot again where the unload point is. I think on the other side. Get somewhere around here. No? Yeah, it's over here. Okay, so let me do this and I'll be right back. Wow, so we got paid 2639 for the milk we just brought over. Wow, we wow. So we are actually sitting at almost 9,000 pounds. Okay, yeah, they're still running. Well, this is an episode of oops and ups. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but uh, it's an invol involuntary response. Nine thousand pounds, eh? Well, that's a pretty decent profit. We almost doubled our money, almost. But if this trend keeps up, I think I'm gonna need a bigger milk tanker. Because I don't want to be driving up and down multiple times to take the milk to be sold. So yeah, if that becomes an issue... Well, honestly, that is a sweet issue to have. Uh, you want to have issues like that when you, <laughs> when, you need bigger, when you need bigger equipment just to haul your uh, products to the sell points. So yeah, that's, uh, I'm not complaining. Yeah, so for the next things <clears throat> that I have planned are, um, I will put the plow on the tractor, and I think I'll start plowing the grassland. Uh, this was a job, a long time coming, but we need to do it now because we have to reseed the grass so we can actually harvest it. Uh, in a decent, in a decent time period. Uh, this is going to be a lengthy job, uh, but what I did want to say is that uh, we have to make the field so we can uh, reseed it with grass, uh, and I think March is the first day we can actually put seed in the ground and it's not too cold at the same time uh, let me just quickly check the calendar yeah it looks like grass is uh, is not uh, to be sown in February it's too cold and we can seed it in the March so yeah it would be best if we could plow the intended field now and then uh, reseed it in next month and we have so much slurry I actually need to sell the slurry because it's starting to overflow uh, but we have so much slurry and so much manure that I want to use on these uh, this uh, arable field and this grassland uh, that yeah it would be a real waste if we wouldn't use it um, so yeah I'm just going to... No. No. The plow is turning the wrong way. I want to... I want it turned on the inside. So the soil goes inside the field. Let me also... Make sure that we don't go too fast. I think 8 kilometers would be pretty good. And okay, I need to have it in a higher range. Oh, still too low, maybe third gear. Yeah, this is still very high. Fourth gear. Okay, we'll see if this struggles, and then I'm gonna go back to third gear, but. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be okay. 
Let's maybe go to C range and third gear. How about that? Oh, that's even worse. Okay, so B range. And fourth gear. Let's go. Okay, is it working? It looks like it's working. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make an outline and make probably three, four headlands because I want to um, I want to be able to turn around without making jagged edges on the field. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty good. And yeah, one last thing. I do need to get a hold of the... Uh, land surveyors so they check out the field uh, what type of soil we have uh, what its current nutrients are so we can make this turning is always I I'm always afraid I'm gonna break the plow yeah so we get an idea of the soil conditions so we can make perfect field for our grass because if maybe we expand our cattle our livestock uh, anytime soon we're gonna need more uh, we're gonna need more <laughs> grass okay and it looks like there are some rocks here and there appearing hmm that was unexpected but this field probably wasn't plowed in ages maybe never I'm not sure I'm not sure what uncle was doing here Oops, I went too far wasn't paying attention gotta yeah okay only grassland so I think it's not gonna bother anyone. So I do still want to have a clear divider between the grassland and the arable field. Because I don't want to get the grass caught into the header of our combine. So, uh, yeah. I it would be better if uh, between the field and between the grassland uh, it stays that uh, meadow grass which is uh, lower and it probably doesn't get caught up into in the header as much as it would if it would be higher if, would, if it would be crop grass like it's up that field okay make a gentle turn and done okay so the circle is done now I want to go the other way <laughs> because there's a hole right now on that side and I want it filled back in Now let me see, will this work? Well, And, as usual, this is going to be a very long process of plowing this, our new grass field. But, yeah, this is what we do today. I'm not sure, I'm probably going to make just a couple of shots of me doing this uh, it probably won't be the whole field or maybe some uh, what's it called uh, time lapses but yeah and as you can see if I point your attention towards our fuel gauge uh, we are almost at half capacity so that uh, fuel tank on our farm might not be such a bad idea might not be so dumb
I'm gonna have to have a think about it and talk with that with that man up the hill. Slowly, slowly, slowly coming to an end. You may have seen my plowing patterns are different than what you would see if I would have a reversible plow. Uh, because this one is non-reversible and you have to move the tractor rather than turn the plow. So yeah, it is different. And I was told by, our, by my fellow farmers that I should go around it this way. But yeah, this little plow actually yeah, did the whole field. Now I just hope there's not too much uh, rain or anything like that so it doesn't wash off the soil, but yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. <laughs> I can't even imagine the yield we're going to get off this field. I may have to go and check in one of the previous episodes when we were making silage how much we actually got off of it and I can measure the progress or improvement that way it's always good to have something to measure against so yeah this was how should I say uh, it was uh, then <laughs> uh, it was meditative I uh, really had time to reflect and yeah, I must say I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress on this farm. Looks like we are getting money in. As you may have seen, our bank account went down because I am plowing for a long time and the tractor leases just keep piling up the usage hours. Yeah. If I continue at this rate, I'll be able to buy it for next to nothing. So just a few little passes left 
And also, I have to say, there weren't any rocks in this field except over by that tree. Uh, a few rocks came out of the ground, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So I'm, I'm just gonna leave them uh, because we are going to sow it once, and that's gonna be it. Everything else is going to be mowed, and the rocks are not high enough to get caught into the mower. So, yeah, I think it's it's safe to just leave it there. Uh, but I will have to be careful with the um, cedar because uh, I don't want to get uh, <laughs> rocks damaging the eating tines or anything that is under there. And if I'm correct, this is going to be the last pass. Let's see. And it looks like I have been correct. Wow. This is something. Let me park the tractor over here. Okay. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Wow, this was. This was a job. So next time, what I what is waiting for me is I need to put on the cultivator. I think I have a disc harrow or something like that in the barn over there. And I have to go over both fields uh, to prepare them to make the seed bed. This one probably would need lime. Uh, but I do need to get the surveyors on here first so they can actually take uh, soil samples and let me know what kind of terrain I have and what it actually needs. Uh, down there, the lime, so the pH of the soil is probably still good because we only did one harvest after we spread it with lime. Uh, the nitrogen is a different story. I think I want to solve the nitrogen issue by uh, getting a um, releasing or buying i'm not sure if anything good comes up but of getting a slurry tanker because i have a full slurry pit uh and also probably put in some manure thinking of i probably should spread manure first and then go over with the cultivator so yeah um i'm gonna write my plan down somewhere so i can uh, have a think about it in peace uh, but yeah this is it for this episode I would like to thank you for watching uh, and I hope you had fun see you next time bye bye